Yoga Club. There are so, so, so many careers or jobs you could choose for yourself. And it's fun to think about what you might do when you're a grown up. Now, you don't need to decide anything yet, but imagine yourself. What might you like to do? I'm in my lab coat today thinking about being a scientist, but I could be anything. I could be a deep sea diver, a vet, a hairdresser, a helicopter pilot, a yoga teacher, a magician, so many ideas. Before we start our yoga club, which will give us a few more ideas, let's have some shout outs for the messages I've been getting from you. Lovely Livia, thank you so much for your email. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying the unicorn puppy video and happy birthday for the end of November. I hope you enjoyed doing some yoga to celebrate. Thanks to Penny, who is six and suggested a few new themes, basketball, the zoo and jungle. Maybe we could put all three of those ideas together and have a zoo animal basketball team going to the jungle to play a tournament. That could work. Hello Kasum and Adianch in India. I love the ideas of PJ masks, Lego, Star Wars, Clone Wars and a book adventure. Nice themes there. You asked me about Minnie and Spence. Well, Minnie is always ready for a cuddle and Spence is always ready for food and playing with his ball. Minnie likes to make sure that Spence is behaving and if he's being naughty, she tells him off by nipping the backs of his legs. They are a funny pair. Wow. Emerson, I love your picture and the awesome video you made for me. You did a wonderful bridge pose there. Now for your question, how do I make bubbles? Good question. Well, take a cup of dish soap and mix it with a cup of water. Science. Now you need something ideally plastic that's a hoop or a circle. You dip it in the mix of soap and water and gently blow the soapy film that's filling your circle and it should blow out and into a bubble. You may need to play with the soap mix a bit to get the right balance. I hope that helps and I can't wait to see you blowing some wonderful bubbles with your homemade bubble mix soon. Big love and shout out to Tyler who is five and has made up the most wonderful motto for himself and one that we could all use. If you never try, you'll never know. So true, Tyler. I love how curious you are and how focused you become when you are keen to learn. This will bring you so much in your life. Thank you for sharing that, Tyler. Now, with Tyler's words fresh in our thoughts, three things for us, everyone. Number one, if you haven't already, download your yoga quest from cosmickids.com forward slash yoga quest. You will love it. Number two, keep sending me your wonderful messages to yoga club at cosmickids.com. I love hearing from you. And number three, it's time for your career day yoga, which I hope you have loads of fun with. I'll see you soon. everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now let's look through the cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, look at their colours and the shapes all spinning around and around. Can you see the picture? Yes. Look. It's an ant. It's Arnold the ant. What's Arnold doing? He's doing yoga. He's doing crabs pose. Oh, Arnold, as you can see, is an ant. Let's try an ant pose. Coming onto your knees, everybody. Put your elbows down in front of you and cup your chin in your hands in your ant pose. Now Arnold lives in a tree. 
Coming up to stand in tree pose. Bring one foot on top of the other, your hands together, and grow your tree up nice and tall. Now Arnold's tree is a special tree. It's an apple tree. Try the other foot now, swapping the other side, bringing your heel on top, your hands together, growing up tall. And can you open your branches and wiggle your fingers like you've got lots of apples dangling? Well done! Now Arnold lives in one of the apples on this apple tree. Now Arnold has a dream, a big dream. He wishes to be an astronaut. He wants to fly in space, to zoom around the moon, joining your feet together, hands above your head, and lean over to one way, making a moon shape, and over to the other way, making a moon shape. He wishes to fly in a rocket. Point your hands up high and jump your feet wide. Oh, to fly in space around the planets would be an amazing, awesome adventure. But how will Arnold ever make it into space? Back in his ant pose, down on his knees, elbows in front, cupping his chin, Arnold sighs a big sigh. <sighs> it's autumn and the wind blows the leaves from the trees. Coming up to sit with your knees, hands down in the middle, lifting up as you breathe in. Breathing out as you lower down. All of the little animals start to hibernate, tucking yourself all the way down, preparing themselves for the winter. And coming up to sit, because all of the ripe, juicy apples start falling to the ground. Arnold's apple comes tumbling down and rolls along the ground. Sitting on your bottoms, hug your knees and squash your chin down like you're squashing a tomato. Now rock all the way back and all the way up. Whoop. Ooh. He rolls and he rolls. Whoop. Ooh. So much so that he gets very dizzy. It feels like a washing machine inside that apple. Crisscross your fingers, put them behind your head, and let's go a spinning. Wishy 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 woo. Wishy 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 woo. Oh, poor Arnold. But his apple lands at the feet of a little girl called Angela. Coming up to stand, Angela folds all the way forwards and she picks up the beautiful juicy ripe apple that Arnold is inside. Mmm, I'm going to give this to my daddy. And she runs, run, 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 all the way back to her house. Jump your feet wide, hands above your head. Now Angela's daddy is inside, packing a suitcase for a work trip. Coming down to sit, legs out long, bend your knees and touch your toes. He opens the lid of the suitcase, Oop. arms wide, he twists one way to get his anorak. Here it is, wraps it up Ooh. and pops it in. Ooh. He takes his arms wide and he twists the other way to get some ankle socks. Here's one and here's the other. Oop. Whoop. Then he lifts his arms and he closes his suitcase. Ooh. Angela gives her daddy a great big hug. Oh, daddy, I'm going to miss you. And she gives her daddy the apple, which has Arnold inside as a present to take with him. Oh, honey, thank you so much. But you don't need to miss me. I'll be calling you on the telephone. He picks up his telephone and he shows her, you see? And putting the telephone down, I'll be watching down on you. Bring your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. I'll be watching down on you, my darling, from the space station, where I'll be up in space doing all of my space duties, being an astronaut. Arnold, who is still inside the apple, rubs his ears. Did he hear that right? 
did Angela's daddy just say that he was an astronaut and he was going up into space and that he was going to take Arnold the ant with him in the apple? Yes! Arnold's dream is coming true! <gasps> He crosses his legs, brings his hands together at his heart and closes his eyes and he sends Angela the biggest namaste to thank her. One, two, three. Namaste. Arnold settles down in his apple, <laughs> lying himself down. He can barely contain his excitement. But he closes his eyes and he prepares himself for the ride of his life. Now Arnold is a little ant with a big dream. And dreaming is so important. Without a dream, nothing will ever happen. And you can dream to be or to do whatever you wish to do or be. If you can dream it, you can be it. So dream big, like Arnold, and your dreams may come true. We lie still, imagining what our dream is, enjoying making it happen in our mind. We see Arnold up in space, in the rocket, flying around the moon as he always wished. And now it's time to wake up. We wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees to our chest and give them a hug. We roll onto our side and we come up to sit with our legs crossed our eyes open and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Arnold the Ant adventure. You were great. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye! Hello everyone! Welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den your place to feel all calm and relaxed and to help our minds stay healthy and happy. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms, legs crossed and a long straight back. We rest our hands on our knees and take a big deep breath. In through our nose and out through our mouth. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. Let's have some sounds. Ooh, look at these. Lots of great sounds to choose from. Let's pick a couple that help us feel all lovely and relaxed. Oh, a train quietly clickety clacking along. And a calming rain shower. Oh, it's so lovely being inside when the rain is pouring outside and hearing it go pitter-patter on the windows. I feel all cosy and safe. How does it make you feel, I wonder? Hmm. Now for a smell. Ooh, these look interesting. Flower smell. Hmm. Dog smell. Hmm. Ah, yes. Let's smell the vanilla. Vanilla is a spice and it helps us feel calm and positive. Popcorn the dolphin loves vanilla ice cream. Have you noticed 
there's one thought that can pop up over and over again, especially when we're trying something for the first time. So, just imagine you are trying to do something, anything, balancing on one leg, reading a new big word, lying or sitting still, or solving a puzzle. As you try, often, quite soon after you start, a very little but powerful thought pops into your mind. I can't do this! And we all get this when we try something for the first time. And the best way to make the I can't thought go away is to think, oh yes, I can. The I can't thought is like a little naughty monster who will suddenly jump in and make you feel all weak and annoyed and maybe even frustrated with what you are doing. All he ever says is, oh no, you can't. When the I can't monster appears and all these hard feelings start, it becomes even harder to do what you are doing. More thoughts appear. I'll never be able to do this. This is a waste of time. I'm bad at this. And each of these thoughts make it harder to do what you are trying to do. The I can't monster is always ready to jump out when you do something new, something for the first time. He's rubbing his hands together, just waiting for things to get difficult which they always are when you first try something. So, be ready for him. The next time you are trying to do something, see if you can spot the very second the I can't monster pops into your head. When you spot it, smile to you yourself, because just by spotting it, you will be able to squash it. And the thing that really squishes him is when you say back to him, Oh yes, I can. Then he disappears into a puff of smoke. The more you practice saying, Oh yes, I can, the weaker he becomes. And you get stronger and stronger. This is a Zen Den master skill. It means turning your I can't thought into a I will keep trying until I can thought. That's called positive thinking. And with that, you will succeed. Learning to do anything just takes practice. And practice means doing it over and over again. I hope the next time you spot an I can't thought, you remember this that you can tell the I can't monster, oh yes I can. I know you can. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den Master. Bye bye! The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe Phone pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms and taking our legs out nice and long in front of us. Now, ring, 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 ring. That's the telephone. Let's answer it. Taking hold of one of your feet and holding it up towards your ear. Hello, Cosmic Kids here. How can I help you? Oh, hi. Are you? Yes, I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, oh, good, I'm good. Fine, I'm fine. Are you? Oh, well, yes, I'd love to come. That would be amazing. Oh, yes. Bye. Bye. Let's put the phone down. We've been invited to a party. Oh, but I forgot to ask when it is. We'd better ring them back again. Let's take hold of the other phone now and dial the number. Beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 beep. Now, telephone pose is very good for stretching our hamstrings and opening our hips. Oh, hi. Yeah, I forgot to ask, when is the party happening? 
Oh, tonight. Righty-ho then, better get a move on. See you later. Let's put the phone down now. Putting the phone all the way forwards. This is so exciting. Better get my glad rags on. I think I'll wear my sparkly onesie. <laughs> Telephone pose. All operators are busy at this time. If you'd like to leave a message, press 1. Your call is very important to us. If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Thank you for calling. Peace out. Climbing up. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Find a spot and get yourself comfy. Lie back on the floor, on a soft rug or mat, or even on a nice squishy couch or bed. If sitting up works better for you, then do that. Wherever you choose, take a moment to get settled and happy with your position. With your eyes open, take some nice big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And one more. This time as you breathe out, let your eyes gently close so you can hear me even better. That's it. Well done you. See if you can notice a nice snuggly feeling in your body as you rest here. Feel how whatever you are sat or lying on is holding you, supporting you, so you can sink your body down even further. It's strong enough to carry you. Let it hold you, making yourself completely heavy and relaxed. Ah. Oh. So comfy. Maybe you can feel that little tingle of calmness moving through your fingertips, up into your arms, your shoulders, your neck and head, then down into your chest, your tummy, down your legs right to the ends of your toes. More and more calm and comfortable with each word I speak. So comfortable that it becomes easy to drift and dream. You're doing a wonderful job. Now you are this relaxed, the door to your dreams can open and you get to explore. Let's see what's in there. There's a ladder. It's leaning up against a wall, fastened to it so it won't move. It's very sturdy and strong. It has handles as well, so you'll be able to climb this ladder easily. It's very safe. With each step up this ladder, you are going to remember a special time, which made you feel really happy 
and confident. Like you could do anything. There are five steps on this fantastic ladder of yours. And when you get to the top, boy, are you going to feel super strong and happy. Ready to climb? Here we go. As you put your foot on the first step of the ladder, you remember a time at school when you did something you were really pleased and proud of. Maybe your teacher told you how good it was. Maybe it was reading or writing or making something. Perhaps you tried really hard in a game or sport. See if you can remember it now, that time, what it was you did. And as you think about it, can you feel that strong, proud feeling now again, spreading all through your body? Breathe into that feeling. How happy it made you. And reach up to take the next step on the ladder. Good. You're doing so well. Now, as your foot lifts onto step number two, see if you can remember a time when you did something amazing with your body. Maybe running really fast being in a race, or catching a ball, or maybe scoring a goal. Feel how good that felt. The strength and joy of doing something amazing in your body. It feels good, doesn't it? Would you like more of that amazing, strong feeling? Well, you can. Go on, double it now. See if you can. Great! Now, up we go again to step number three. And as you climb, see if you can now remember a time when you managed to do something you've been trying to do for ages. Practicing over and over again, hoping to get there. Like riding your bike without stabilisers. No training wheels. Playing a tune on the piano. Swimming a whole width or even length of a swimming pool. Or reading a whole book by yourself. You found you could finally do it. After all the practice. And it felt awesome. You were so excited, happy, and super proud of yourself. There. Now. You have that feeling again here with the memory. Breathe into it. All your strength, your confidence, the goodness of the feeling. Let it fill you up. Fantastic. Does that feel good? Now get ready for step number four. What will you find here? You place your foot on the number four step and you think of something you have made. Maybe a drawing you've done, a cake you made, or something you built, like a Lego project or a cool model out of cardboard, glue and other bits and bobs. Perhaps you wrote a story. Whatever it was, think about it now. And remember how everyone said it was really good. You felt so happy and proud of it, that you made it. You put it together and made it so good. That feeling is back with you now. That happy, proud feeling for what you can do. 
you enjoy it here again by breathing into it, feeling it whoosh around your body. What a great feeling it is, isn't it? Take it up with you now as you have one more step to go on this very brilliant and exciting ladder. Step number five. Are you ready? Now, can you think of a time when someone in your family told you how proud they are of you? Or how much they love you? Or how special you are to them? For simply being you. That you make them so happy. And you are a very special person. Remember a time now when they said this to you. How it felt. Feel that warm, happy feeling now. That strength and confidence you feel when you think of that. You can do anything. You're amazing. You know that. You've done so well. Now you are at the top. You can climb over the wall into tomorrow. And look at you. You are so strong, brave and confident. Isn't your face happy and smiling? as you are talking to other children and making new friends. Listen to your voice as you speak and share your ideas, putting up your hand in class to offer your suggestions. Brilliant! Well done, you! It's so exciting for you to do all these things easily. Nothing at all to be worried about your strength growing with each and every day. I wonder if it will surprise you when you notice it happening, or will it just feel perfectly natural that you are so confident now? It's time to return and wake up, feeling all the energy coming back into your body your fingers wriggling, your toes too. Maybe you stretch your whole body long, enjoying the lovely feeling of movement again. You take a big breath and sigh out and roll yourself up to sit, your eyes open again. Take a moment to feel what you feel now, remembering the great feelings you are having. They are with you now, still, and always can be. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie, saying peace out.